Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are not getting used to this look but in case you are just know your girl is about to install another wig so I'm super excited for today's video. I am working with premium lace wigs and y'all I have not worn anything outside of curly straight and deep wave I think in the last installation video so today's video is going to be a little bit different because we're going to body wave so it's going to be something that we have not worn in a while ladies so let's go ahead and unbox this wig and see what is inside Doo -doo -doo. so this is the wig of the hour but before I share the wig we're going to get into what's inside the box so they sent over some lashes really cute this is a oops, don't want the wig to fall this is a wig band premium lace this is their hd wig cap we have their comb you can never have too many because i don't know how many combs i have to go through and i'm still missing combs i can never find the combs the girls are in their hair era so my daughters are always taking my combs even though i buy them so many for every single occasion and they have a whole hair little toy thing but they still keep taking mommy's combs but that's okay that's okay and we also oh these are cute these are really cute and i haven't had any like small clips like this this is really cute in this pink so yes that's everything inside of this and now on to the wig so dun, dun, dun. this is always my favorite part to like see the quality of a wig in real life because sometimes you can see it through pictures and you can see it on the website and everything looks good but i'm here to tell y'all if the, the quality actually holds up so lean on me trust in me believe in me to keep it real so we're gonna go ahead and take off ooh, the hair net we're gonna take out the plastic and then i'm gonna show you guys a nice little inside the wig tour um this is not a pre bleached wig so this is kind of like the standard oh like the standard lace as you guys can see and then let's go ahead and get into the customization of this wig honey because your girl has some places to go and i need to put my wig on my head so i see one of my favorite components of a wig it's like the clips in the back um depending on how the wig is constructed because sometimes the wig is so tight that when i add the clips in the back it literally makes me feel like i'm like i can't even breathe all my blood is rushing to the top of my head so we'll definitely see um but before i put the wig on this is just for quick purposes because typically you can bleach the knots and you know do it that way but i'm going to just show you guys one of my tricks which is taking some powder and tinting the knots homemade we're doing homemade tinting y'all so that you don't have to worry about washing them especially this is for if you're on a time crunch you guys see how that works literally looks the same as a pre-tinted wig so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this and do the whole entire and then i'll come right back okay guys so it literally looks like it was just bleached what we do y'all so now that we have this i'm going to go ahead and cut the lace in the back and then prepare to put this on my head and go from there Ugh, good catch keisha so like i said this is body wave and typically when i'm about to put this on my head i always grab the two um, straps in the back place it on my head make sure it's nice and snug and then clip it in the back Sometimes you gotta readjust. Okay, there we go. And it's on. Oh my gosh. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. So now we kind of see what we're working with on this side. And I absolutely think I'll be wearing her as a, um, where's the wig? I'll be wearing her as a side part so let's go ahead and part the wig to the side like so and you guys can see kind of like how I do it and then I'm gonna mold her down 
and then I'll come back and show you guys what she's looking like in a bit. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I pretty much have molded my wig with some mousse and now I've taken the concealer and put it on the part. And this is just to bring a little bit more. Oh, hold on, y'all. Trying to make sure. Okay, making sure. And another hack that I use is if you get too much concealer on your hair, you can just take like an old mascara. I took one of my mascaras that was almost about to be dried out. So whenever I'm like adding concealer and it like runs over, I take it and comb it through like a little mini hairbrush. So that's just kind of like something that I do. And now I'm just adding this powder. Kind of look in the mirror and do it and show y'all at the same time. I think y'all can see. I love it. It's giving absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna just take my scissors and get this together. I'm gonna just cut the lace off and see where we are before having to like set it to my head. But I'll probably just use some weak spray just um, to lay it down real quick just to see what that does if not then i'll just come back and glue it but so far i love it because there's been plenty of wigs where i've tried to like part it mousse it down and it's like ugh, it's like fighting against me <laughs> and the freaking wig and the product and it's like still coming up so i love the fact that it's easily able to manipulate this hair so like i said let me get this lace off and then i'll show you guys what it's looking like before i got a spray okay y'all i don't even think i need to glue this wig down i cut it and it's literally is literally doing what it needs to do like literally it looks really good but y'all can tell right here i got a little extra product i'm literally running out of my mascara so this is what i like to do y'all see that i just like to take an old brush and kind of do that you see what i did there y'all thank me later thank me later and then now let's go ahead and brush all of that back down. And like I said, this is just if I was, I, whenever I do these videos, I always like to show you guys, if you guys bought a wig from this company, how quickly can you get this wig out of the packaging, put it on your head, style the wig and get out the door? How practical are these wigs? So I try to do the least steps possible whenever I'm doing these wig installations just so you guys can get a real accurate depiction of what you're working with because some wigs I'm not gonna lie they take a lot more effort than others and I think that was the wig era when, when wigs first became a thing and really 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 popular a few years ago like we all knew we had to sit there set this mold that do that manipulate this tweeze that tweak that here all that everywhere and then finally you get out the door now I'm just trying to see which company gives me the wig the look the vibes and everything with the quickness I love this wig honey I love this wig I love this wig I'm so surprised that I haven't had to glue the wig down I don't even think this is a glueless unit you guys have gotten me out of my comfort zone and I actually think I wish I would have been wearing longer length wigs prior because they are so like they just are more form fitting on my head because they don't have as much you guys know the shorter the wig the bigger the wefts it is and it seems like more hair is on that bundle so I felt like it was like bulkier and just less flattering I don't know if I'm just getting finer by the day or whatever it is y'all but y'all can't tell me this is not a beautiful wig and the way i just did that y'all and i gave y'all that little cute little hack y'all i'm winning so anyways if y'all love this wig and i mean you love this wig then please let me know in the comments below let me know where you will wear this wig to, what your thoughts about the company overall. Have you tried them out before? Are you going to go try them out now that you see how easy that was for me? Um, and yes, I love you guys so much. And all the information you guys need about this wig, their company, all the links together, what you need to gather will be in the description box as well as a coupon code because y'all know I wasn't going to leave y'all hanging with that. So go ahead and use my coupon code over on their site. Let me know what you guys purchased and what I should be trying next. I love you guys so much. Thumbs up this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye.